A couple of years before, before uh, Father Ted became president, um, the, his predecessor, uh, Father Cavanaugh, had given a talk in Washington, D.C. And, and in that talk, he sort of challenged the Catholic uh, academic community uh, to improve, so to speak, by saying, where are the Catholic Einsteins, uh, Oppenheimers, or Salks? And I think it cer certainly made a, an impression on, on, on um, uh, Father Ted, because I think he felt that challenge was one that he was uh, destined to play an important role in. He said, you know, there are three things that make a, a great university, great faculty, great students, and great facilities. Perhaps the most important in terms of, of the actual consequence for the University of Notre Dame is the, the program of the endowed chairs. And the uh, aim was to get, uh, at least the Father Hesburgh's uh, own words, was to endow every full professor, ultimately. One of the interesting things is that two of the first three chairs that were endowed were in the College of Science. One was my chair and the other one was the uh, George Craig in biology. One of the things that, that uh, uh, occurred not too long after uh, uh, Father Hesburgh was uh, in the presidency was a, a, a program of what he called distinguished professorships but this involved inviting distinguished uh, professors from all over the world to come to Notre Dame. And one of the ideas there was some of the, these people actually stayed. Uh, for example, Morris Pollard stayed and became head of the uh, Institute of, of Microbiology, Germ-Free Lab, Lobund. In the meantime, um, uh, uh, Paul Weinstein uh, noted uh, uh, biologists uh, interested in uh, research on parasites came and stayed. While all this was going on, uh, Father Hesburgh also made some very important uh, uh, appointments uh, in, um, in, in the sciences. Uh, one, one of them, of course, was uh, Tim O'Mara, uh, who uh, later became not only an endowed professor in, in mathematics, but also the provost of the university. Some of the most important things that happened early in his presidency, which, which led to uh, uh, later uh, uh, improvements in, in the uh, uh, university, was uh, the, the fact that he appointed uh, fairly early on um, a fellow named uh, Frederick Rossini. Rossini was uh, already a, a member of the, the, the um, National Academy of Sciences, so he knew what the, what the, the landscape of good uh, uh, science was all about. We had been promised uh, a new chemistry building for some time. In fact, uh, in, uh, when I spoke to Father Hesburgh before I came, this, this was certainly one of the things that he uh, was looking forward to. Uh, Al Steppen, who uh, 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 supported the uh, building of the uh, Steppen uh, Center, of course, he w was uh, a, a student of Newland, and uh, he was very much interested in, in helping the chemistry department. And uh, so that, that was a major step, uh, that plus the building of Galvin, the building of the radiation lab, but all of these three facilities was a major, because not only was it good for the people who were already here, but it had a role, I think, in attracting people to come. Because of the, the fact that we now had new facilities, uh, we were able to uh, 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 attract uh, students because the better students you have, the easier it is to recruit new faculty members, <laughs> and, and, and especially the ones you want. And, and, uh, and then, of course, they, once they institute their own research programs, things get even better. I believe that Father Ted's impact on science at Notre Dame was, was an enormous uh, change for the better in terms of the three things that make a great university, its faculty, students, and its facilities. 
because during his uh, tenure as presidency, all of these increased in uh, uh, their standing enormously.